<laughs> Daryl, welcome, man. I think you actually went to jail after the Concord judgment. Is that correct? Correct. Jeez. That, so you're the, I think you're the only person that has ever since. We don't know of anybody that's been to jail since your jailing. And now, that is, how long, how long have you just spent in a South African jail now? Six months. You spent six months, and what was your sentence? Uh, four years, but they suspended two. Four years? <coughs> yeah. Tell us. Four, four grams of cannabis. Four grams? A year a gram. A year a gram. A year a gram. Tell us what, did you, Tell did us your what knees you buckle in court? How did you, how do you, how do you, how does somebody take such a thing standing up in court? Uh, I've had so many different attorneys trying to help me and they all said that I had to plead guilty and Jeremy Acton was the only one who was willing to help us um, with the paperwork and all of that to, to join the queue. Yeah. Um, and uh, like it didn't go well for us. We, we literally had to run to PE which is three hours away like at least twice a week. Um, getting papers done, coming back getting it sorted, um, and eventually in the end I was told to be guilty or my girlfriend was going to go to jail with me um, because she was in the car with me at the time, so they charged her with dealing as well. And she... Um, so my, my choice was to... How did they get you on dealing for four so grams though? Take the, the fall and I will take everything on me. Jeez man, so four, four grams doesn't seem like a very big dealing charge, that sounds just like... You're in completely oh, the wrong place yeah. at the wrong time. There, there, was, there, there, there was mushrooms involved. It was a bigger amount, okay. larger amount. Um, but uh, we beat them in the high court for the mushroom. So they dropped the charges on that. I remember oh, the headlines okay, for that, yeah. actually. There was, I remember the, yes. the headlines for that. Now tell me, I've, I've lost track of time here completely, Daryl, because you're one of many people. But was, when was that mushroom high court thing? Was that before the judgment as well? Or was that after yes. this? That was before. Before. before yeah. So you so. set a you set a precedent in a high court about a hallucinogenic. Yes. And that still stands as a as a as a high court judgment. Correct. And then they put you in jail for four years for weed. For four grams of cannabis, yeah. Is that a danger to society? And when and, and and did they send you far away from your family? Five hours. Bastards. What? The fucking bastards, bro. Damn it, Dad. Yeah. So And I got to the prison and they I got to the prison and they didn't have food for me because I'm a vegan and they didn't have vegetables. So what did they feed you? Bread. They gave me bread. Bread either bread or nothing. Jesus. No hot water in the prison. We offered to sponsor Jesus for the prison and they declined. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting in jail. Like. And they wouldn't let your family send you like vegetables. Not at all. There was no food allowed in sex place. And where where is this place? Where, even, even during visits, even online, it says that uh, the prisons, if they don't have a shop on the prison grounds, uh, you are allowed to get food from your family. Yeah, no, that's and unconstitutional. Sex place denied everything. <clears throat> that's okay. That's Not just... even a sip of water. Not that even is, a sip of water. That is blatant human rights and, abuses. And how, how many people, were there many people in your prisons? I think you were in more than one, yeah? Yeah, I was in three prisons. You were in three prisons. In any of those prisons, where did you come across more cannabis offenders? Were there people in jail for weed? Uh, yes, every single prison I went to. Because we heard, we, we saw some uh, statistics in November last year from the Minister of Justice, and it implied that there was 1,100 cannabis offenders in the country, and they were split up between 250 prisons, which leaves like three or four per prison. So there's got to be more cannabis people in prison than four per prison, yeah? For sure. And when I spoke to the ones that I did meet, they were all arrested for kgs and kgs of weed, and they had the same sentence as me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't know how you... Uh, 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 it's unimaginable to me, matey. I'm just a soft, white, middle-aged boy that's, have, have, that's got a cushy life. I, I've, it's my worst and, nightmare. And also, you 
Yeah. Uh, amazing how the court works. There was another guy who was caught with more than you for the same case, with the same setup. He was only charged with possession, where I was charged with dealing. Did they not get okay. your cases mixed? No, not at all. <coughs> Somebody not slip a K in front of that little G. It's yeah, like it's friends and things involved with the Hawks, with the oh. prosecutor, with everybody. That's more than and, and um, how were you generally treated? Were you treated any different to anybody else? Because there couldn't have been many white people in the jail. Were you in a minority as a white person? <laughs> Stax Fred was the prisoner of the only white person. You were the only the white person? Only white person, yes. Fucking hell. And the language barrier is terrible because this side they speak also, that side they speak uh, Sufi. And you were in the middle, and then yeah. so. <coughs> yeah. What a mind fuck, Bruce. That's that is pretty hectic. What happened there? I think we've lost your audio, Daryl. Something gone on there, Daryl? Wow, this is so super interesting. Yeah. Christ, he's so it's chilled about great. it as well. Yeah. Okay, there, there you're back again. <coughs> uh. Yeah, sorry, my phone. Somebody was trying to call me. All right, oh. All right. Yeah, for sure. Tell, tell me, were, were you um, were you ever in fear of your life? In prison, definitely. Definitely, it was an ongoing thing to survive like that. Somebody's trying to ring him. Someone's trying. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> And I can't put my dart off, otherwise it won't work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Don't get it's the lawyer hang up. Yeah. Well, it gives you a good proof now of what, why you had to hang up here. So, going, going, going back to being the, um, the only white person in the building and the language barrier, mm. were you allowed any writing or reading stuff? Could you, is there anything for your mind? Yes. There was. Yeah. Because that, yes. that would be one and of my... They explained we weren't allowed um, uh, radios, TVs, but books we were allowed. Books you were allowed. And a library that consisted of five books. So now you could get books, but you couldn't get vegetables. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. And there's a vegetable garden. Fuck, man! <laughs> wow. they, never, <laughs> they never take us out to actually go and work in the garden. Shit, man. It's so, just and, unbelievable. So now here are you, you're the only white man in the, how, in the house, and there's a huge language barrier, and you're in for weed, and presumably there's a load of weed in the, in the jail as well, yeah? Um, Stack spread, there was no weed. No, I okay. uh, Barkley East managed to get weed in. I won't go into detail with no, that. No, never. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that money, weed is there, like yeah. it's an everyday thing. What's, what's the place called? And Tiny. Where's that? Uh, East London. East London. Just outside of East London. Uh, are you, you are from East London? Yes. So your last, the last jail you were in was close to home, was close to family? Yeah. All right. Yeah, once I got my dad, then she sent me back. Incredible. And so, is it true that you can get anything you want if you have money? Course. In prison, <laughs> it, you could pretty much order up anything within reason, yeah? You could get a pizza if you want them. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> it's quite, honestly, it's mull. And you know what would drive me the most mad is looking out the window at the vegetables and smelling Zoll down the corridor, knowing that you went down for fucking two years for Zoll. I know. What's Zoll? Um, and you've got a smile on your I face. Think the, I think the went through was those munchies in prison. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> well, you oh, must no. be off bread forever by now. And was, and, yeah. and was there things like solitary? Is there solitary confinement in South African prisons? Yes, there is. And did you experience that? Uh, once. See, that is another thing that just makes me go into a cold sweat. Like the thought of being banged up in your own head for days on end. Uh, how, can you explain it in any way? Well, I'd, for, for my experience, I'd say that uh, the single cells are a lot better than the cells of 50 people in them. Okay. So you'd rather be in confinement and safe? I'd rather be alone. Yeah. 
And did you, were you, you were in that position to be alone like that? It wasn't like a scary alone, it was more like relief to be alone. Oh. What a mind fuck this all is, bro. You can actually feel it. Yeah. Not thing for everybody else in the room for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, and have a conversation with yourself in English and not Cosa. How is your Cosa? Sure. How is your Cosa, by the way? Is it, did it did it improve? It improves, but it's not so great. <laughs> <laughs> and now, yeah. um, presumably, you haven't got something like an ankle bracelet. Have you got some sort of electronic thing I, on you? Uh, no. No. Do, do people get that, or is uh, that just yeah. like America? If I'm not mistaken, that is uh, registered for dangerous criminals. Oh, I see. I see. So now, have yeah. you got a report to these motherfuckers at any point? Yeah, they haven't been to me yet. Um, but they do come and check up whenever. Could be 2 in the morning, could be uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Whenever they're ready, they just pull up. And if you're not here... Trouble. What, here is like in home all the time? So you're under house arrest? Yeah, home, home, house arrest, yes. For how long? For the next six months. For the six government years. gave me remission of 12 months. And my sentence was two years. So when you get sentenced for two years um, and below, you sit court of the sentence. Okay. If you get sentenced three years and more, you sit half the sentence. So you kind of knew all along the maths of all of that, and that kept his... No, no, I didn't. You, you didn't? I was freaked out. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> you, now, you're sitting, now you're sitting there thinking you're going to do 24 months. For sure. And did they ever tell you that they were planning on sending you to another prison? Because presumably, you kind of... Oh, in what, I didn't know. In one prison, they you would make... the day before. Right, what? bastards. Because, like... Then they, they, the next morning, before you can do anything, the actual cell, you have ankle chains on, you have... Cuff chains on, loaded into the back of a van, and you're going. They don't even tell you where you're going unless you ask. And to ask in English, you get an answer in Tulsa. They don't speak English to you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> fucking hell, Daryl. They refuse so... to speak English. And they all as Mlungu, Mlungu, Mlungu. I actually gosh. fought a lot because of that. Yeah, I must. That... I have a name. <laughs> how are you feel? Uh, how are you generally feeling? Are you kind of? It, it, it's going to take a while, yeah. Yeah, for sure, it's going to take a while. And you're not the same person no. at all. That going in and coming out. No? I can imagine. So there's nothing. There's nothing correctional about it. There's no rehab about it. There's nothing. You weren't nothing taught well. anything. You weren't. There was nothing. There's no. There's not. There's no fucking reason for it whatsoever. It's pointless. Waste of the state's money. Four grams a week, bro. That's going to cost like Four trauma therapy. Do, do trauma therapy, please. So, <clears throat> I, know, I know when we... When, uh, just before you go, Daryl, we're going to move on to something else, but there's one final thing. You sent me a link. You were about to come to Pretoria because there's been a, a, a death in your immediate family, is a double whammy of all of this, Sorry. of getting over all of this. Sure. A young niece uh, came to pass to leukemia in Sorry. Pretoria, and they wouldn't let him go to the funeral because he's under house arrest. You gave me a link to a GoFundMe kind of thing for the family, and we're going to put that on the thread tonight as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to so hope much. if you can help in any way, because... It's another horrendous story that goes on with life and the family are battling to pay the bills and stuff. Uh, we'll try and put some money in there from the Hotbox Show, Daryl. Um, Thank you so much. Please stay in touch with us um, any way you can because we we, 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 we've thought about you a lot and we were gutted when you oh. went down the hatch after the judgment. It should never have happened. We know that you know oh. who your legal representation is down there and we're all good friends with all of that. So we'll stay in touch and... Um, I hope your house arrest goes all right, and we'll edit out the bit where you were smoking the blunt, all right? Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Daryl, thanks for waiting, man. Thank you so much for talking to us. Like Appreciate it. Cheers. Have a good evening. Okay. Cheers. You know, on top of all of that, he's, he's really positive, which you is check. cool. That yeah. beautiful he's, smile. He's really yeah. positive, yeah. Gentle folk, eh? My so, God. Um, all they do is cause trauma. Hey, look, you never know the full story. Doing it on your own. And you're going to get high court things. Ask the people in the corner. You've got to be on it. You can't you miss a beat. To, if you're a minute work. late with a document, they'll go. Fuck. Getting a stay of prosecution so, is hard work. Make friends no. with the clerk. 
Make friends with the clerk. You have to go in with a positive attitude and make friends with as many people.